Good afternoon, everyone. This is Rob from Next Truck Sales, and I want to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2016 International 9900i. It features a Cummins ISX engine and an Eaton Ultra Shift Plus automatic transmission. I'll take you through the truck. I'll show you some of the features and some of the things that we've done to it. Explain a little bit about the process. If you're watching this video and you happen to be in the U.S. and you're interested in purchasing this truck, which is in Canada, uh, and I'll go through just some of the options and, and things that we've done to it. So um, this particular model, it has uh, 250 gallons of fuel. It's got a 115 gallon fuel tank on the one side, a 135 on the other. Uh, when it came to us, it had a head gasket that was blown. It was pushing uh, com combustion gases into the cooling system. So we took it off, had the head sent out, overhauled, uh, and put back on. Everything is in perfect working condition now. Uh, we also checked the bottom end of the truck at the same time. Bearings and all that are good. Uh, liner uh, spacing is all good as well. Um, I'm going to open up the hood and get you a good look underneath the hood. Actually, first I'll do I'll do a walk around, just show you the chrome. We've had it polished. Uh, it's obviously got a nice square box end bumper here that's nice and straight, which is a rarity. If you look here, looks nice it lines up nicely with the fender uh, the customer before us had put on some these are kind of Volvo style I'm not sure what they are they don't look bad they actually when you when you stand back it kind of looks like it, it makes me think of a grasshopper with antenna uh, they work well from the inside um, but even be Freightliner I'm trying to think who's where these came from but at any rate we've got hood mounted uh, spot mirrors there uh, we've got some clearance lights that are in the fender, which is kind of a cool feature. So you've got red on the back and yellow on the front. Uh, this unit does not have breathers. It's got the air intakes. Are, I'm not sure if it's here or if it's on the other side. That might be for the uh, HVAC system. Uh, we've got dual stacks. Uh, the emissions are connected and working. Uh, we've got some nice, clean and neat uh, clearance lights here on the side. Chicken lights, as you might want to call them. Uh, low profile. And I believe... Um, we've got sort of an aerodynamic deflector here uh, on the bottom just to kind of keep so you don't see underneath the cab. Gives you a nice cleaner look. Uh, this is the um, smaller tank, 115 gallon. You can see we polished it. Uh, I'll give you a look at the back here. We've got two heaters. We've got the Webasto coolant heater. So this will heat your engine. You set it up on a timer and you go to sleep and then when you're ready to come out and go trucking you have it come on a couple of hours before and you're starting the engine and it's warm so it's going to start better in cold weather it's also going to be less uh, wear and tear on the engine for cold starts so that's a nice feature to have it's a webasto coolant heater we also have a webasto air top heater which is there and there's controls for each of those in the bunk i'll show you those when we get inside <coughs> excuse me uh, we've got stainless quarter fenders We've sandblasted and painted the frame on this one. If you look here, we've got Aeolus drives on the front. Virgin 11R22.5 with all aluminum wheels. They are probably 40% tread. The rears are probably closer to 70, 80% tread. Uh, we've got a sliding Holland 3500 fifth wheel. It looks like it's got a three feet of slide here. So if you look from front to back, uh, there was some back of cab scratches. We had the back wall of the cab painted where the airlines had rubbed through. So that's a fresh coat of paint on the back there. Black trucks are tough. If you own a black truck, I, I have a black truck over there and you've just got to put that much more effort into making them look good all the time. And if you don't, they they don't look the best. So you've got to, you've got to take care of it. And I felt that painting the back wall of the cab, although it's no longer original paint, looks better than one with airlines that have rubbed through. Uh, as you can see here, we've had the frame sandblasted and painted. We had a little bit of rain earlier today here. As you can see, there's there's no corrosion on that, which is great. We've got um, another 80% Aeolus pair of drives on the back axle and another 40% here on the front axle. Okay, over here, we've got a Merit style toolbox with some storage inside. Uh, we've got two bunk shocks with a single dual uh, shocks on the back. Let's get a look underneath here. This is the larger 135 gallon tank. 
I'll give you a look here so you can see both stacks are, are connected with the Y pipe there. And if you look, you'll see my frame guy did a great job. He painted the whole frame front to back. Now this frame was originally red. So if you look there, you're gonna see some of the, uh, the red where you couldn't shoot it with the gun. But for the most part over here, it's, uh, it looks really good. Unless you go peeking around corners, you're not gonna find a lot of red. Actually, there is one spot that I did notice. If you look in here, you can see the red frame hiding inside of there. So let me get this hood open. This is a bit of a chore on these. I'm not a huge fan of this particular model because the hoods are so stinking heavy. If you're under 200 pounds, you're gonna have a hard time getting this hood open. And if you have a bad back, you definitely don't want to be buying one of these because getting that hood open, you've got to put a fair bit of energy to getting that to go. Um, here you go. So this head was just rebuilt. Uh, it's got zero miles on it since it was rebuilt. I've got the repair invoice. And we've got some Firestone steers. They're probably 80, 90%. Uh, the horsepower on this, I can't remember. I think it's a 500, 485. So it's a 485, 1650. Give you a good look here. I'm gonna get this running shortly and come back to it. But for now, we'll just get you a good look at it without noise in the background. Okay, we've got another matching Firestone steer, probably 80% as well. And give you a good look. Probably have to tie that up. That should be screwed in. We'll get that fixed. <clears throat> okay, so there you have it. That's a good look underneath this thing. Uh, let's go on the inside. I'll show you around and then, <coughs> excuse me, I'll come out and get it running and do a video with the oil filler cap off. You can see how much bull by is going on. Um, this piece we're gonna replace. I just noticed that. This piece we're gonna replace. I just noticed this uh, before I started the video, so. We'll get a new one of those. And I noticed the bezel around the Speedo is missing. We're gonna order a new one of those. So power locks and mirrors. Uh, we've got a leather seat with a moderate amount of wear, probably upholstery wise, it's decent. Uh, a little bit of wear on this cushion. I'm gonna sit in it and tell you how it feels, if it's worn out or not. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. A little bit of, uh, little bit of uh, movement in in the seat when you lean back on it. Um, I would say you'll get another year out of this before you really got to seriously consider. It's comfortable, so you could go to work and make money with this seat, not have to replace it. Uh, this is your one of your Webasto timers, and the other Webasto timer is on the um, in the back. I'll come to that in a minute. So this will be your timer for your engine heater. So let's get it started up. Okay, so we got 610 miles. Uh, we've got uh, over here, we've got headlights, wipers, your gear that you're actually in, uh, cruise, fridge on and off, hill start assistance on or off, regen, power mirrors, heated mirrors, and then your shift console. Okay, we'll get your engine brake is here. We've got a couple of auxiliary switches waiting down underneath there. And <coughs> Excuse me, this truck is going to come with a fresh safety or DOT inspection certificate. So I think there's one on the side dated September. That was done at the shop that did the uh, cylinder head for us. So it's gone zero miles on that DOT inspection. Uh, let's have a look at the oil pressure. Oil pressure is 35 pounds, 38 pounds at idle. And voltage is uh, 14, which is good. Let's go back inside here. So we've got another seat matching. If you ever wanted to change this one out, you could probably switch it with this and you'd be fine because it's the same material, it's leather. Looks like it's genuine leather on the on the part that faces your body and the sides might be, that feels like plastic, but that feels like leather. Uh, in the back here, we've got, <coughs> excuse me, full rubber flooring, which will clean up easily. And we got lots of cupboard space. This is a single bed. I don't know what the dimension of this uh, is. I'll have to double check it. It's it's pretty, it's very deep. 
when you look at how far from here to the back wall of the cab, it's got to be at least six and a half feet, maybe more. I don't know if these come in an 80 inch, but if there is such a thing as an 80 inch, I'd say we're looking at it. Uh, it looks like we've got a spot for a television. We've got cable and we've got a strap up top here. We've got some cool little cubbies. So these I can picture rattling a lot because it's all kind of just hard plastic, but you can probably put some liners in there so things don't rattle. Well, this is nice feature. So you've got some storage down in here if you had something large. If you wanted to, I don't know if you wanted to put a flat screen TV in there, but uh, you can definitely put something pretty big in there. Over on this side here, we've got two more of those cupboards. We've got another mount, probably more likely for a microwave. Uh, you've got your fridge here. I turned on most of the lights just so you can see. Uh, over here, we've got an inverter, and then we've got your other timer for your uh, Wabasto. This would be for your bunk heater. Okay, and then you've got accent lighting, dome lights, and a bunch of other little individual lights, which I'm going to turn off. I'll give you a good look here. So it's a really good size cabin. This is a mid roof, extra tall. So I'm five foot nine. I've got at least another, you know, seven, eight inches above my hand. So it's at least, uh, you know, six foot, six foot six high, I would say six foot, um, at least well over six feet. So if you're, if you're fairly tall, you're not going to have to worry about banging your head. And if you look at the space here between the seats, there's definitely a decent amount of space. Uh, it looks like we've got an auxiliary power outlet here, as well as uh, a setup for a CB radio. Although we do have a CB radio with Bluetooth audio, which is going to connect into your, that'll connect in. That's the mic for your Bluetooth stereo in the radio here. So let's get outside. I want to have you have a listen to this engine running with that new head on there. And as well, <coughs> excuse me, um, I want to uh, take the, I'm going to take the oil filler cap off and let you, uh, we can both look together at the blow by coming out of there and see exactly what's going on. Cummins generally do have some blow by, even newer ones. Um, if there's a lot, never good. But if it's, if it's visible, but not a ton, we got like the Little puff of smoke, which is which is not abnormal. Less is better. Uh, that's certainly not um, concerning. When you get into trucks that it's just steaming to the point that it's coming, you'll actually see it coming out of a out of a breather tube, which is really good, depending on which stuff we put them on, then I'd be concerned. But uh, we had this checked over when we had the head off and we looked at everything and I said if it needs an overhaul, do it at that point and then said not necessary. So I'm trusting what my mechanic is telling me. We've gone through this truck. I've got the invoices for all the work that we've done. Uh, I'm going to close this now. Hopefully this video gives you a pretty good idea of what this truck is about. If you happen to be watching this video and you're in the U.S. and you're interested in purchasing it, it works like this. We are a registered importer with U.S. Customs. We have a yard in Buffalo that we rent. Uh, we'll deliver the truck to that drop point. We'll supply you with all the paperwork that you require to t convert the title uh, to US and uh, we'll supply you with a temporary license plate that you can drive the truck back home until you get the paperwork from US Customs. And we take care of all of that for you as far as the paperwork goes. You literally take the paperwork we give to you, go to your local DMV and get everything that you'll need to get your title and your plates. Uh, if you want more details, certainly feel free to give me a call. I, I can explain to you a little bit more about it. Um, my number, it's area code 844-489-8789. It's Rob at Next Truck Sales, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.